I just feel it's criminal for you to design your website inside of Figma and then you have to go back into Elementor or into WordPress to redesign it. It's crazy. And also if you are using uh, Webflow, I have a one-click solution for you in this tutorial. So without further ado, I think we should get started looking at these already. So right on my screen here is uh, Figma design. And if you have followed me for a while, I have showed you how you can easily design things out of Figma. So in case you are new to Figma, you need a tool that can literally just help you design things. I will leave a link to Sprout UI in the video description. Check it out. It's a fantastic plugin. It will help you just design things easily inside of uh, Figma here. So this is a design here. This is just a frame here. As you can see, it's not even added to auto layout yet. I want to show you a very very fantastic tool that will just help you take this like this and just take it into wordpress let's experiment with this together and the tool i want to use is called fig webex uh, it's a new tool i have just uh started covering experimenting with this tool and i think it's quite very very fantastic so you can see it says convert your figma to wordpress and webflow without using auto layout just design there and then you bring them into wordpress it supports a page builder like webflow elemental bricks breakdowns and also gutenberg and that quite very very fantastic so it's a fantastic tool here i'll leave the link to this in the video description you can check this out you can use it literally for free you have up to five exports during the official launch and then they have paid tools too as well uh it's worth all the penny if this would help you get out for your design from inside figma to wordpress don't you think so i think so too as well also check the video description for a coupon code in case you want to invest into their pro plan uh, so that's it for this. Let's go back and let's see what we can do to bring this back to uh, FigWebX. So if you come here, if you buy their plan, you have this option here to go to Hub. So if you click this here, it should launch uh, a, an interface like this. So you can see I've been testing this tool how so we can create a new export task. You can see here it's asking us for Figma link to selection. Uh, so we want to go now to our Figma design. It's as simple as this. I want to just uh, click on the landing page here. I want to right click that and then I'll come to copy link to selection and that's it. So now I can then come back here and paste the link here. And this is where you get to choose uh, the page builder you want to use by default here is Elementor. So you can see you can work with other page builders here, but I'll stick with Elementor. If that's a requirement, you need to install your plugin. Uh, you can just click the link here to download that into your uh, browser. And then you have to turn on Flexbox container for Elementor. Uh, the requirements are different based on the page builder you want to use. So let's say, for example, we want to use uh, Bricks right now. So you can see there's no notification to install any plugin so it means you don't need to install any plugin if you are using bricks builder uh, but right now i'll go back to elementor and you see this new feature here auto tagging with ai this is what has made this tool the game changer for me uh, it's fantastic that this would help you auto tag every element in your design so for example if you come to our design here so this right now should be icons but if you want to export without auto tagging it uh, it might just be explained as a div or as an html widget but this should be able to convert these to maybe icons uh, this to text this to button uh, and i think that's very very fantastic if this tool is able to help us do that so let's experiment with this and then you might want to reduce the dome size so that will help you uh, remove unnecessary frames or containers as it were right now inside of elementor uh instead of uh Figma here, you might have used a lot of frames, uh, maybe not needed, uh, maybe you didn't uh, optimize them. So instead of all those frames replicating as container inside of Elementor, it will help you optimize them. And I think it's a fantastic stuff. Sometimes it affects the quality of the design. So you want to do this and if you do this and then the result is fine, that's good. But if it's not fine, you might want to come back here for you to turn this off and then export to elemental so now that's everything we want to do this is processing this can take some few seconds uh, sometimes a minute so you want to allow this process so while this is processing i want to believe you have your wordpress website ready uh, you can just go there let's just come to pages let's just come to add a new page uh, we can call that maybe a landing page or call it whatever you want to call it And right now, I would edit this page with Elementor. Make sure that you have installed your plugin. I should have showed you that earlier that I have done that. So Elementor is ready for us to use right now. So that once we are ready with FigWebX, we just do copy and paste here. And that's it. 
Uh, so right now let's go check our figurebacks if this is ready for us to use. So this is still processing. You might just from time to time refresh your page for you to keep checking to see if this is ready. Okay, awesome stuff here. We can see that uh, this is ready for us to use right now. So now let's copy this and then let's come back to our page here. So from here, we want to right click, paste from other side and then do control V. In your case, if you're using Mac, it should be command V. Super simple and easy, right? Uh, this can take some time for this to paste also into our page. We want to give this some few seconds. As you can see, this is literally almost ready for us to use. All right, fantastic. So let's open this up. Well, this is amazing. Isn't this a fantastic, fantastic clone? Just with a click of a button, uh, you can see we have our page ready. So I can just make this an elemental uh, canvas so that we take out the head and the footer. But that's just by the way. Uh, let's open up our container and let's see what we have. So you can see I have container dynamic list. So you can see that. Uh, but I might just want to maybe change that to a menu instead of a dynamic list. But this work well. This works. I like this. Uh, so you can see this image. You can see this is also image by uh, Nexent. But not a good part of this is that this display image by URL by an external URL. And that's what the plugin does. That's not a good part of this. What I would advise that you do is that you copy this image upload them into your WordPress uh, library and then you can switch this from external URL to uploaded file and then go back to the same image and display them here instead of back clicking to external URL. Doesn't make sense to me really. Uh, so that's the only thing that I feel should be looked into. So you can see we have all our icons here. Let's click into this. This is also a dynamic list too as well. And I think this is beautiful. Uh, amazing stuff here. Wow, I think this is this is awesome. So right now we can just come to uh, page settings. Then we can uh, lay out. We can just make this elemental canvas, for example. So that we reload the page so that to take out the head and the footer. I don't know why this is taking forever to load. It's just taking time and it's not uh, finishing. Maybe I should just uh, publish this page already. Uh, and that page has been published. So let's just uh, view our page in a new tab. And that's it. We now have our page super ready. You can see the image is taking time to pop because it's loading from an external URL. You want to be wary of that. That's very, very important. But you can see here our page is super ready. That's it. That's exactly how FigWebEx make this so easy. So with the click of a button, you can get your Figma project designed to Elementor super easily. Another page builder inside of WordPress and also with Webflow. So you can check out FigWebEx and let me know your results in the comment section. I'll be looking out for them. I'll be doing more tutorials like this, experimenting with AI tools, cloning to WordPress, into Webflow specifically, and also generally AI coding. So if you're if you're interested in tutorials like this, you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on those tutorials from me. And that's my time for this one. I'll see you in another tutorial. And until then, stay safe.